In this video, we'll figure out how many molecules are in 24.49 grams of water. So we've been given grams of water, 24.49. That's just the number I made up for the problem. We want to know how many molecules there are in that many grams. To do that, we'll start with grams, and we'll take our grams and convert to moles. Once we have the moles, we then can convert to particles. Particles are molecules, ions, atoms. So we go grams, moles, to particles. When we convert from grams to moles, we divide by the molar mass. So that'll look like this. So we have the 24.49 grams. That was given in the problem. We're going to divide by the molar mass of water. That's 18.02 grams per mole. Divide the top by the bottom. Grams cancel out. We end up with 1.36 moles of water. So now that we have moles, we can multiply by Avogadro's number. That's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That'll look like this. So we have the moles that we found here when we converted from grams to moles. Now we multiply by Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is a conversion factor. We have one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So we have our 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. We divide that by the one mole. That's our conversion factor. We know that it's correct to multiply because we're told that here, but moles, that also cancels out. That leaves us with molecules. That's what we're looking for. And that'll be 8.16 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of H2O. So to recap, we took grams divided by the molar mass to get moles. And from moles, we multiplied by Avogadro's number to get molecules. This is Dr. B converting from grams of water to molecules of water. Thanks for watching.